This is the U.S. Chamber of Commerce Small Business Update with Tom Sullivan, exclusively on ASBN.com. Hey everyone, Jim Fitzpatrick. Thanks so much for tuning in to the U.S. Chamber of Commerce Small Business Update right here on ASBN.com. A look inside small business policy and other happenings impacting small business owners. On today's show, we're pleased to be joined once again by Tom Sullivan, the Vice President of Small Business Policy at the U.S. Chamber of Commerce to give us an update on the Chamber's initiatives. We'll also learn how you can apply for America's Top Small Business Award with a grand prize of $25,000. That's right, I said $25,000. Tom, welcome back into the show. We very much appreciate you joining us today. Jim, thank you for having me. It's great to be with you and it's great always to talk great. about small business. Small businesses are critical to our economy. Talk to us about one of the major initiatives of uh, the Chamber right now. Well, Jim, thank you. Uh, earlier this month, we celebrated National Small Business Week, which is just a tremendous way to celebrate the contributions of our nation's job creators, our nation's innovators, half of our nation's GDP, about roughly half of uh, the businesses employing America. It's really a chance to lift up the fabric of communities all across the country. And so for us at the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, we, we helped our friends at SBA celebrate small business earlier this month during that week. One of the initiatives that we'll talk about in, in depth a little bit later that we launched during this week was uh, our prompt pay pledge. This okay. is an opportunity uh, for us to reward those larger businesses mm -hmm. that are committing to pay their small business suppliers and vendors faster. Really a very simple commitment which will make an incredible difference in the lives of so many different small businesses. Frees up capital for those small businesses, yeah. especially at a time where uh, there is a tightening of credit. And also, quite frankly, this is a win-win because the larger businesses benefit by being able to attract some of the best uh, suppliers and vendors. So we're doing our part. We're having folks register with uh, U.S. Chamber Mm -hmm. uh, we are looking into these businesses and then rewarding them by highlighting their leadership. We're also telling stories about how small businesses benefit from getting paid quicker and, and also certainly leaning in to the information, tools, tips, and resources that small businesses can use to find out how to get their clients to pay quicker. There's yeah, a ton of techniques sure. We're, and we're sharing that information with small businesses nationwide. We're excited about this new initiative. That's great. And it's, and it's referred to as the Prompt Pay Pledge, right? That is accurate. Yeah. It's a little bit difficult to say, but it's going to make a big difference. We're excited about it. That's great. So what was the motivation behind creating something like this? Well, you know, at the, at the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, we're in a unique position of representing over 3 million businesses across the country. Ninety percent over 90 percent of those are small businesses mm -hmm. and and our position allows us to convene larger businesses and smaller businesses mm -hmm. together so we really try to focus on those issues and initiatives that help the entire business ecosystem mm -hmm. and when some of our small businesses shared with us like look I got to find out a way to get our clients to pay us faster. Yeah. We really kind of thought about it. We ran it by our board of directors. They loved the idea. They gave us constructive input. They signed off of it, off on this initiative and now we're up and running. So it really was truly an initiative that came from Main Street up through the ranks and now will will be a major initiative year-round for Fantastic. the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Yeah, as a small business owner myself, I can totally appreciate this kind of a program uh, and it comes at a fantastic time because as you know with some shakiness out there among smaller banks regional banks community banks that often help in many ways small business owners with their lines of credit we're seeing some of that getting a little bit tighter right and uh and the availability to credit is not what it was maybe two or three years ago or even this time last year so to be able to you know uh, come out with a program like this is going to be helping small businesses in a very big way for sure right absolutely you know we we as you know we survey small businesses every quarter and our last quarter 
survey that we do with our partners, MetLife, showed that inflation is highest on the list of concerns. And it has been the highest concern for five consecutive quarters. Wow. And the reason I mention that is that when when you're when your sales revenues are good and they're going up, but they're not outpacing inflation, we've got to look for other ways to free up capital. And this prompt pay pledge is one way we where we think sure. that larger businesses and small businesses can work together to free up some capital when inflation is really overtaking uh, uh, the revenue increases and really squeezing Main Street businesses. Sure. How does, how does the pledge, how does it work? Well, uh, we have larger businesses like mm -hmm. Intuit and J.P. Morgan Chase okay. uh, contacts. They, they go, it's very simple actually, they go to uschamber.com. Uh, they find the initiative, they fill out a form. I follow up with each of those businesses and then we publicize, we, we, we publicize it on, on our website. Uh, and we're excited that us raising up the best actors in this space are creating somewhat of a groundswell of other businesses mm -hmm. uh, rising up, taking a look at sure. how their policies for payment are working and then taking the pledge to commit to pay their vendors and suppliers faster. That's right. A friend of mine just got awarded a uh, contract from Walmart and he said, that's the good news. It's also the bad news. I've got to wait uh, 60 to 90 days to get paid. And yet I've, I've got a million dollar order, order that I've got to fulfill. You know, how do I do that? So, uh, so it, it does create a lot of issues, a lot of problems when you know, a small business gets, uh, gets a contract uh, or an agreement signed uh, by a much bigger business that really at the end of the day can easily afford to pay that smaller, that smaller person either at the time of signing or even within 30 days can make a huge difference, right? It sure can, and yeah. you, you explained it perfectly. That's why we're leaning in, because small business is a pretty big deal here at the U.S. Chamber. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fantastic. So how's the pledge been received thus far? Well, it was exciting to launch with, with larger companies like Intuit and J.P. Morgan Chase yeah. as the initial signers. It was quickly joined by the, the largest mission-based lender in the United States, uh, Axion Opportunity Fund. Um, and now there have been 14 additional companies that are taking the pledge. So we're going to keep our foot on the gas all year round. And I'm excited about the snowball effect that is happening and ultimately will benefit small business suppliers and vendors. That's great. The pledge asks for large companies to commit, but how do small businesses get involved? Well, we're actually hoping that small businesses utilize our platform to learn kind of some of the tricks, tools, and information to help their clients pay faster. You know, the idea that you create uh, discount programs for quicker payment, mm -hmm. that may seem just kind of common sense to some of our larger, more sophisticated suppliers. Right. But for a small supplier just starting out, they may not know about some of the discount incentives to get their clients to pay faster. So we're including those types of information, stories, and how-to guides in conjunction with the pledge. And we think and we hope that small businesses will benefit from the information that we're providing as well as the pledge from their larger business clients. Makes sense, makes sense. Hey, switching gears, applications are now open for America's top small business. Tell us about that. Well, you know, every week is National Small Business Week, which, for me at least, and I know for, for you and That's others right. as well. And we want to keep the drumbeat and attention on small business year round. So during National Small Business Week, we launched a brand new awards program called America's Top Small Business. We are going to be uh, accepting applications through July 7th. Mm -hmm. And we are taking finalists in each of the seven regions of the United States. They will then come to Washington, D.C. in the fall and compete for a prize to win $25,000. Wow, that's nice. It is, and, and you know, $25,000, to me at least, that's a lot of money. It is, especially it, for a small it, business owner. It, it is, there's more to it though than that. Yeah. And you know, I got to spend some time with TJ and Hadley Douglas, who were award winners a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. 
they run a uh, wine store in Boston called Urban Grape. Okay. And the, the publicity they have received from the Greater Boston Chamber of Commerce, from the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, that, that has helped them. Oh, I bet. Uh, yeah. And, and they are very grateful, and we are really grateful to them for providing such leadership in the small business space. Sure. So, again, I, these are win-win situations yeah. that we're really happy to, to lean in on. What is the criteria for the program? So the criteria is that you be less than 250 employees okay. or or less than $20 million annual revenue. Okay. So really, it, it's it's an awards process for all comers. And and the, the application itself is relatively straightforward. We want people to tell their story of yeah. why should they be considered America's top small business. And we do that through a series of prompts. One of those props that's my favorite is asking the applicants, what is the largest obstacle you've had to overcome that would earn you the title America's top small business? And out of that, we will receive stories of incredible journeys in the sure. small business world. I, it is a very humbling process to judge. On the other hand, it, it, it renews my optimism in Main Street entrepreneurship, it's just seeing the stories and the journeys of these applicants for the America's Top Small Business Award. That's great. You touched on it a little bit earlier, but uh, what impact does winning an award like this have on small business owners? Well, you know, we're, we're all about inspiration. Uh, and, and I know you and I share, share this connection that when award winners like TJ and Hadley Douglas are able to share that story, yeah. it inspires others. Um, my friend Yassine Taru, who runs a falafel shop in Knoxville, Tennessee, and, and just returned from Turkey where he was handing out uh, diapers and baby food wow. to earthquake victims. Wow. So, Telling those stories yeah. of what a small business owner means to the community yeah. inspires others. And, and you know, we're an advocacy organization, Jim, and we like telling the story of small business. And it's certainly helpful to make sure that lawmakers and policymakers know the human side of the importance of these small businesses to communities. That's right. Because that helps us when we talk with Congress and the White House about policy issues like making the 20% deduction that so many small businesses yeah. have benefited from right. permanent past 2025. So sometimes that connection isn't obvious. Right. It's my job to try to make the connection between the personal story of the small business and some of these national policy right. issues. Once we make that connection, we see tremendous bipartisan support. Yep, not great. How can small business owners apply? Well, the application's online at uschamber.com, okay. and those applications are open through July 7th. Okay, we will make uh, a link right below the video that you're currently watching, so we'll make it nice and easy for you, uh, small business owners, to get involved and to apply. This is something I would highly encourage you to do. 25 grand is 25 grand. I mean, I'll take that in a minute, and it will cover oh, yeah. a multitude of different uh, invoices that I've got. That, in fact, I'm waiting to get paid on from some of our uh, some of our uh, clients. So. Uh, so I love the fact that you're helping small businesses get that money quicker too. But uh, so we've seen a, uh, you know, a record number of new business applications. Talk to us about the entrepreneurship boom that we're seeing right now in the nation. Jim, it's really pretty remarkable. When you look at the last three years, it's the gold, silver, and the bronze medals for new small business startups in the United States. In, in April, 2020, as, as we all know, many small businesses were forced to, sh to shut down yeah. because of COVID. Yeah. It took only four months for small businesses to bounce back. It start, you started seeing a rise in the new business applications. Sure. It, took, it took over 10 years for that same bounce back to happen after the recession. Yeah. So we're really experiencing an, an up, a remarkable uptick in small businesses. Isn't now, the reason, the reason is pretty simple. Uh, the first reason is stimulus. The okay. federal cash that went out to many individuals sure. helped them take the plunge to live their lifelong dream of working twice as long to be their own boss. That's right. But also, small businesses solve problems. 
And, and when in our recent lifetime has there been more problems to solve in such a quick period of time? And small businesses swooped in to, to solve those problems. That's why we saw the sharpest uptick That's in right. uh, transportation, logistics, warehousing, and delivery. Um, and then that has leveled off a little bit into largely e-commerce startups. We're still seeing remarkable small business growth, even as most small businesses foresee a recession. We're still seeing growth in the small business sector, and we're doing everything we can to kind of keep this small business growth trajectory on the way up. Yeah, that is fantastic. And you guys are you know, doing such great work for all businesses, but, but, but specifically small to medium-sized businesses there in Washington, D.C. I don't know that we could live without you. So Tom Sullivan, Vice President of Small Business Policy at U.S. Chamber of Commerce, thank you so much for joining us once again. We appreciate the update. Um, whenever you're on, we get a ton of views because everybody wants to know, you know, what Tom's doing on their behalf in D.C. So thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Jim, thank you for having me on. It's a pleasure. Great. Thanks. Thanks for joining us for another edition of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce Small Business Update with Tom Sullivan.